It was in the 1870s that Mr. Olmsted made a decision to move out of New York City because he was tired of the politics. He was tired of them changing what Central Park was to be. And Olmsted said, I can't take it anymore. And so he met some friends up here. So when he came to Boston, he was told that here's the way, the path that we want for our park. And they took him to Jamaica Pond. And when he got to Jamaica Pond, he just looked around. And he was so amazed. And he simply, after a day of walking around the area and into the forest and along the waters, and in the glacier-designed hills. He simply said to people, we don't have to change anything in nature, that this is perfect. And so he went to work. And the park was actually the last of the five parks as they walked around the pond. And as they drove from Beacon Hill in their carriages, all the way from the Charles River, all the way to Franklin Park, they would circle the pond. And then I imagine they took the eastern side, a shorter route, so perhaps they could watch the sun setting behind the hill. And there, people were, to this very day, brought to their knees, so to speak, about the beauty, the heavenly beauty of a sunrise or, or a sunset or the trees hanging over the waters casting, as Ohm said, said, magnificent reflections in the sparkling waters. And here is where the power of nature comes into being. Here is where, as Olmsted said, the most important gift for every person, every time they walk into a park, is a sense of enhanced freedom. And now we celebrate his birthday. And how did Olmsted celebrate it? He never talked about his birthday. But he talked about the birth of America, and he'd read the poetry of Emerson. By the rude bridge that arched the flood, their flag to April's breeze unfurled. For here, once the embattled farmer stood and fired the shot, heard round the world. And every July 4th, Olmsted would get up early, and he'd walk and he'd take his rifle up and he'd fire into the heavens, so that the sound of that first shot would still ring throughout the country. And freedom, the cornerstone of American democracy would be round us forever. And now it is our opportunity. It is our opportunity to step into his shoes and to praise nature and turn to nature when we each are in need as we are in the living of these days.